I'm back. Here is the seasoning process. Alright. We got your sweet paprika. We're going to put that on there. Alright. We got your Wickershire sauce. It's got to have the Wickershire sauce. Lots of it. It's marinate. It marinated 24 hours. But I cook it with the Wickershire sauce. Put that in there. It's just going to soak it. It's not going to... Uh, you're not going to uh, fry it with that, so it's just going to be a juice. This right here is your turmeric saffron. A lot of people don't know nothing about that. And here's your parsley. Don't know the, well, a little bit of the nutrition uh, factors that come with parsley. I know it's good for your kitchen and all, but it makes the food look real good. All right. Uh, then I got your... It's your, um, lemon. It's a lemon salt free. It's blend. Put that in there. Not much of that. Just want a little tang. Just a little tang of that. Oh, my food be flavorful. There don't be no uh-uh. You don't get blend. Me. You're going to taste the flavor. And I know exactly how to mix the flavors, the, the seasoning, so it won't be too much. And certain flavors you can't put a lot of together with another one because it'll make this bitter taste due to the fact that my mom let me tear up the kitchen when I was a little boy let me experiment I know exactly how to go about adding seasoning all right that was my garlic powder and this right here is my minced garlic get that open put your little minced garlic in there all right and then you got your your onion powder. Got to have your onion powder. Alright, put that in there. Alright, that's all your seasoning. Okay? And then you take it and you mix it all around. Mix all that in. Real good. There you go again, talking about your OCD with me not using gloves and all. It's okay, it's gonna be alright, people. Just take your breath, we'll stop. Okay? All right, these little fellas here is in good hand. I mean, literally. I ain't lying. You taste some of my squirrel meat, I'll tell you what, every time you see one, you'd be running through traffic trying to kill him, knock him in the back of the head, trying to bring him back to the dinner table. I ain't lying. All right, dip that little bit. Then take and put your onions and your bell pepper. They cut big like this because these right here I'm gonna put in the crock pot and some of them I'm gonna fry. I'll let you know what they look like both ways. Okay, so you just take them and you mix all of it up like that. And it's gonna turn out real good because I know what I'm doing. See, when you eat food from people that don't know what they're doing, it'll turn you away from it from a lifetime, for a lifetime. 